manners. Why don't elephants get more cancer? They're huge, they live a long time, and they have so many more cells that could go rogue and cause a deadly mutation. It's a question that has puzzled scientists for decades. Isn't it odd that since cancer is a problem with cell proliferation or cell division, that very big animals who have millions or billions times more cells than a small animal don't get a lot of cancer. This researcher at the University of Utah decided to find out why. Uh, if we could get some of that elephant blood, we might be able to understand the mechanism behind why they don't get cancer. Elephants have extra copies of genes. Now the research team is publishing their finding that elephants have 20 pairs of an important cancer suppression gene. Humans have only one pair. And when the researchers exposed the cells to radiation, the damaged elephant cells died more frequently than human cells did. The theory that extra copies of that cancer suppression gene is providing the protection. It was as if the elephants had said, it's so important that we don't get cancer. Why even try to stop the cell and repair it when we can just kill it and start over again? That seems to be the safest way to make sure that mutations that could cause cancer won't be passed on. The Utah researchers are patenting the elephant gene, hoping for a way to use it in humans. But the research raises other questions. I think what this paper brings into sharp focus is why on earth, for our size, do we get so much cancer, more than any other species? His answer? Humans have adopted a series of lifestyle habits that increase cancer risk. We know what the issue is, it's, it's lifestyle associated. And the estimates are 75 to 90 percent of human cancer is preventable, so that's the choice. In other words, elephants don't smoke. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.